that's a difficult burden to bear, that your dad did those things. Well, Terry Nichols is the father that the lawyer is speaking about. He helps carry out the Oklahoma City bombing back in 1995. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Brian Loftus. Growing up with a convicted criminal as a father has been a real struggle for Nicholas's grown son. The I-team's Vanessa Murphy first broke this story at 5 o'clock and has more in an exclusive interview with his wife. Yeah, Josh Nichols has a lengthy criminal history. He also has support, but loved ones say the actions of his father have tormented him for years. Oklahoma City, 1995. A federal building bombed, leaving 168 people dead, including 19 children and more than 500 injured. Timothy McVeigh, the mastermind behind it, was eventually executed. His accomplice, Terry Nichols, remains in prison. At the time, Nichols' son Joshua was 12 years old. You know, they teased him, they named him Bomber, you know, and nicknamed him that, and I guess he got beat up, you know, he had to, he couldn't go to school. That nickname Bomber on the now 36-year-old man's rap sheet. He has several violent felonies on his record. On Tuesday, he was taken into custody again after a standoff for violating conditions of probation. He was a fugitive. His wife Nadine says the Josh in these mug shots isn't the man she knows. I mean, he's an amazing guy. She sat down with the I-team for an interview Thursday, which happens to be the couple's five-year wedding anniversary. It's sad that, you know, we're here, but I, I, I believe that he's ready to get the help that he needs. Nadine and Josh's attorney say he turns to drugs to mask his pain and guilt for the actions of his father. And that drug problem has contributed to his many run-ins with the law. That's a difficult burden to bear that your dad did those things. Nadine says Josh didn't believe his father could commit such a crime until details were revealed after the criminal trial. He can't change what his father did. People need to see another side of him other than bomber son or, you know, he is a human being. His wife and attorney say he can change himself for the better. These issues still can be addressed. There's still a future for Josh to be a positive member of the community. He's ready now. Like, I think this is it for him. If he doesn't get help, like, this is it. The next step, according to Nichols' attorney, a parole hearing. Tonight, Nichols remains in the Clark County Detention Center. His wife tells me his father has reached out to him in recent years, but Josh Nich Nichols has not been in contact with him. She also tells me she was contacted by officers as they were trying to arrest her husband, and she urged him to turn himself in. Back to you.